So what's going on guys? My name is Edim today we have some time skip Robin gameplay ending our time skip straw hats gameplay in SS series. The card will be up there. You guys can watch if you want to see other time skip straw hats. And this time we have the best the waifu my favorite character in one piece and in all of anime in general nico robin now unlike the others where i have at 9 out of 20 boost or 10 out of 20 boost she's at 19 out of 20 of course i've had her at 19 out of 20 for a very very long time she was one of my mains for so long all right the metal set we're running on her is of course full attack with some hp the hp so that she can heal more often uh, with the medals we have we have some uh, increased damage dealt uh, when we're losing boost skill 2 and skill 1 uh, this guy is going to give us increased damage in the enemy's treasure, which is good because she's an attacker. Um, when we're in our treasure area, we get skill 2, which is nice. And uh, when we're in our treasure, we reduce damage received, which again can be very helpful. Not the best medals, but a decent one. This one is very spammable, 18 seconds. It gets knocked back. It's mid-range. It's uh, not that much damage, but with team boost can deal a lot. And you can time it perfectly to be very, very annoying. This one is also pretty good. 46 seconds is a long, but it's still a very good skill. It will tremor them, uh, and if uh, the last hit is guaranteed tremor, the hits in between is kind of chance 50%. And uh, for 5 seconds, and tremor is really, really good, because even when you hit them, they don't leave the tremor state. Uh, trait 1, uh, increase damage in their treasure area. Uh, when your strength is more than 70, boost skill 1. Uh, so this one is only going to be 9 seconds, which is really good. Uh, skill 2, you recover 20% HP, which is nice. And when your allies are not near the treasure where you're at, reduce damage received by 20. So she is very, very tanky, especially because, as you guys will see here, I have 135% support, but if my internet loads. Um, thank you. Uh, I also have Grand Line, which makes me take less damage from other red units because she's red. And uh, so the other traits I have are Grand Line, Paramecia, and Attacker. And the reason that's very good on her is because it allows her to tank Snake Man, Luchi, uh, Blackbeard, all these meta red characters, Uruj, deal a lot less damage because she has reduced damage received when she's by herself and she has reduced damage received against other reds. And red right now is running rampant. So let's get into the first game with her. So first game, um, let's get into it. So, um, they don't have many big, big threats besides Rayleigh and Snake Man. Reiju and Croc, even though they're not the best units, they are blue. So, we still have to keep a lookout for them, but let's see. Now, in this game, they will have two S plus players, but in the other games, it would be full SS. Uh, but the reason I wanted to show this game, anyways, is because we actually showcase good timing on her skills here. So, I see that no one's here, so I fill up this, this flag, skip through, fill up this flag. Right, um, I'm only capturing so they have to waste time. So if someone dies, they spawn, they have to go back capture the first flag. But luckily, we pay attention to the minimap and we see that the snake man's on his way. So we use our skill, tremor the guy. He has nothing he can do. <laughs> and boom, he's dead. Uh, next, we look at the minimap. We saw Raju dropping <laughs> and we use her skill. Boom, Raju dead as well. So this is the beauty of looking at the minimap, guys. Um, of course, always assume that the player down is ready to use a skill. Because if you don't, you will drop down. And if they know how to time their skills, you're dead. <laughs> Especially with Robin, who can tremor, or other characters that can freeze and shock and things like that. You definitely want to be careful. Extra careful. Luckily, they weren't. We use a skill here. Boom. Poor Ace. He does manage to land. If he did not land his counter, he would have been dead there. Because the second hit would have killed him uh, with the team boost. Anyways. We use our Tremor, get the kill on the Ace, and also finish off the Wano Zoro. I don't know if the Rayleigh was there too and died, but maybe. <laughs> so again, we see Marco here. We use our skill, and boom, he's knocked back uh, on the floor. And we're trying to run away right now. But I want to I want to show you guys the, the damage reduction uh, eventually. So we do get the perfect dodge, so no, we cannot showcase it here. But boom, we hit... We knock both of them back, Snake Man and uh, Marco. And now we dodge in just to try to, you know, do whatever. Look at the damage we're taking. We're not taking that much. Yes, she's 19 out of 20. But also because of the amount of damage reduction we're having from being alone in the treasure and against red units. So here we're just, you know, we realize we're going to die eventually. So, yeah. Uh, we're just coming in, trying to deal as much damage as possible. Maybe I should have played this slower and wait for my team to show up. We get a perfect dodge on the Snake Man. 
so that's very nice. Uh, he does uh, finish us off though, so I think that the reason he we I th we would have survived that. The only reason we died there is because Shanks was in the treasure with us, and so he 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 of course we didn't have the extra twenty percent damage reduction. Anyways, we get the perfect dodge on this uh, on this guy, and it's pretty much the end of the game now. So yeah, we got stunned, but we finish off <laughs> a few seconds remaining, um, and yeah, all right, that's that for the first game. Pretty decent, uh, of course we were MVP. Four kills, four captures, not bad. All right, second game. So I think this is one where we lose. Uh, yeah, I think we lose this game, but because of... It's so unlucky. It's literally last second. <laughs> so, yeah, we start off the game. Uh, running, running. Let me drink some water. Guys, stay hydrated. Make sure to drink a lot of water. <sighs> yeah, so... Remember, guys, we have 135% support. We don't have 150 like other YouTubers. We don't have 158 or whatever bullshit they have. We don't have all the best medals. We don't have all the best traits. But we do what we can um, as an average player. And yeah. Anyways, we use a skill. Then we use the other skill. We finish off Ace. Uh, here we're trying to see if Blackbeard can dodge. He does dodge at the perfect time, though. That's unlucky. But as you can see, we're not taking that much damage from him. Look at that damage from Snake Man. It is pretty high, but we're not in a treasure, remember? So this is just the damage reduction from the being from the um, a Grand Line trait. We're not even taking the damage from being in a treasure by ourselves. So, yeah. Here we use a skill. I thought he would um, come back to me. Anyways, we see the Blackbeard. Luckily, they're always so predictable. So we use a dodge, manage to run away. I notice they're all concentrated there. So I'm going to go capture the flag. Help us uh, get team boost. Now, if they get team boost, they get full healed. <laughs> if we get team boost, we get nothing because we don't have a black beard. However, we do get the damage increase from Shanks if he doesn't die. So that would be cool. Um, so, yeah. All right. We finally captured the treasure. Finally, they notice us. Not really. Just kidding. They didn't notice shit. <laughs> they get the team boost. So they're healed back. So I'm like, oops, I'm out. The... the <laughs> I'm like, good job here, because I was super angry. That that range on the Snake Man Luffy, I swear to you, it changes with time, man. But here, again, we showed the incredible display of time and uh, managed to hit the Snake Man. And, of course, uh, we hit him a few times, then use our skill. Because if we use our skill and he gets knocked back, guess what? We don't kill him. So we need to make sure to maximize the damage in the five seconds we have. So we deal some normals, then we use our skill. Don't finish your normal attack combo. So make sure you hit once, twice, maybe three times if you did it perfectly. But once, twice, then use your skill. That's the best thing. So I don't know what the ace was doing there. Um, but yeah, we managed to wait for him. And then, yeah, thank God. Uh, we use our uh, skill, knock him back a bit. And then we see them both. Boom! Nice tremor. Finish off the uh, snake man. Then he uses his counter. Bad choice, mate. I'm not going to fall for it. Then we managed to finish him off. Goodbye. Now, here as you can see, we have two flags. Our guy's about to capture a flag from behind. Now look at that Kaku, man. Look at that. So unlucky. So unlucky. Now we're down. I, I, here, if I just landed this hit, I, I hit him first, man. If I landed that hit, I would have stalled enough maybe for that. But because of that, we lost, unfortunately. But that was very, very nice. We've shown the damage reduction. We saw the damage you can deal. We saw good timing and what it can do to us. So I don't showcase that game because we would have won. Like, if the score bonus, that would have easily been a 5.5k game or something. We got MVP uh, of our team, but we did lose. So, yeah. Finally, our last game. Here, we kind of dominated the enemy team. Uh, I did get second because there was one guy that got, like, 8,000 score. I think it was this guy's Gus. But let's get into the game. So... Uh, we start off the game. Uh, see, Cavendish, using your skill is not the best thing. Honestly, just run. You don't need to use your skill to go forward. It doesn't It doesn't work out too good. All right. Shanks uses his skill, but I use my skill to get the perfect timing on the ace. He has no chance to dodge because he's tremored. Here, I wanted to use a skill, but I don't know. I felt like this was a bot because of the way he was running to us. But maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Maybe this guy is just a really bad player. But I didn't think he'd use his skill there. Anyways, we managed to knock him back. Uh, hit him with a smiley face of fuck you to Blackbeard. Then we think he, here he's still not using a skill because, he, of course, he just used it. Uh, wasted when I was on the floor. So he could have had it there, got three of us, but he didn't. So, yeah. Um, anyways, 
they're slowed now. Boom, we managed to get the hit on the Rayleigh. And I dodge away because I don't want to die from the Blackbeard skill. Anyways, Rouge comes. He gets a perfect dodge on our skill, but we managed to finish him off with the third hit. Thank God for auto-targeting. And boom, fourth hit finishes him off for third hit. Anyways, here, try to get the perfect timing as well. We see him. He's dead. Poor guy. Rip. Uh, Blackbeard. All right. Now we see them. Perfect timing. And boom, knocked back. Uh, the thing with Robin's skill, as you guys can see, I'm just going to go back real quick. So, uh, look at that. Like, she doesn't move, right? So, it's hard to tell that she's using her skill. Because it, she doesn't move, right? So, it, it's incredible. Now, the damage isn't too high, of course. But it's very spammable, right? Now, we're not at above 70%. But look how fast it's going now that we got the team boost and healed back. We're getting it every few seconds. It's incredible. It's incredible, that skill. So, here we perfect dodge because I thought one of my teammates hit the ace. Uh, we hit him twice. Blackbeard finishes him off. Uh, and then luckily, um, Cavendish finishes off the uh, Shanks behind us. So again, we're just destroying these guys. This Blackbeard is probably a bot, man, honestly. Like, he, um, he's just doing stupid shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, but they all had IDs. So, yeah. Here we do get the Tremor. As you can see, there's the tick, tick, tick thingies around him. So we do get the Tremor. Then we manage to finish him off. So we're just waiting because I don't know what the hell they're doing. Here I hope to get it, but the Rouge got it instead. So I just use my skill to try to knock them back. We hit once, but the second hit is the one that knocks back. So yeah, dodge to make sure no one's hitting us from behind. And then the Rayleigh dodges. If he dodged like a second a bit earlier, he would have had us. Anyways, here I'm running to my team. I'm like, no, 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 please save me. Um, oh, by the way, this is another thing. The reason here you see me turn around is because when I, like I said, Robin's skill, you can't tell that she's going to use it, right? Because of how she moves. It just looks like she stopped and then out of nowhere, a skill pops up, right? So if you're like running away, they might think you're not looking behind. And so they will dodge at some point. And when they're close enough, you just stop moving, use your skill, and they don't know what hit them. So it can be fantastic usage of that skill. I've done it many, many times. Unfortunately, I don't have it in any of these games here because I had so many fun games. But I have to delete like eight games today before choosing these three. I just end up choosing one we lose, one where we dominate, and one where I just get good timing on the skills. Here again, we get, look at that. It stays a bit longer than it actually stays for. Uh, here again, look at the ledges in this game. They have a big problem, man. Like the legs should have hit, but they don't hit because they're, they hit a straight line, even if uh, the ledge goes like that. So the snake man was safe, but that was a perfect. It lingered a bit longer, so the ace, poor ace, got hit. Now that's that for Timeskip Robin. In my opinion, she's definitely one of the better timeskip uh, characters. She aged uh, pretty okay. She's still a very good unit, not on the tier of uh, timeskip Frankie. In my opinion, timeskip Frankie is on a tier on his own. He's the best one. And I will be making a tier list on the uh, Straw Hat. So as you can see here, um, 5k score, uh, 5 KOs, pretty good, pretty good. So uh, yeah, that's that for, uh, they had all S's. We had an S plus. Uh, in our team. So, um, of course, uh, the Blackbeard did a lot of work, 8,000 score, but at the same time, he was just in their spawn, and I don't know why they couldn't get rid of him. So, poor, poor team that played against this Blackbeard, but they had like Blackbeard and Uruj and Snake Man. So, they had the big tanks, but they didn't have the DPS to deal with our team. So, uh, yeah. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like Timeskip Robin, I do recommend giving her a shot. She's definitely uh, way better than other Timeskip Straw Hats, in my opinion. She's definitely a good, good uh, character that aged okay. So yeah, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed and peace.